at least three setups there of Keshik's and three setups on the ah, there's only one set of Keshik's on the attack here so lots of flamers lots of IPGs modals um, some halberdier starters in there as well and some palace guards so we're going to be an interesting strategy here let's see what turn comes and happens here you've got Zykillian Militia plenty of them on the attack very different scenario here I wasn't expecting to see that many on the attack in terms of uh, Zykillian Militia normally you see like one or two units but no there's about four units of them there at least going to be interesting to see how this turns out Buck picking up some javelins you've got some palace guards Modal for the start here definitely going to try and whittle down the defense on A um, and that's the best way to do it, get, get the javelins in from behind, just start dealing damage, just make sure they have to rotate their units either off to the supply point to go heal, or you know, just get them damaged enough to set that push up. We're also going to jump over the wall here, have a look to what goes on in the background here, all three siege towers might be pushed this time, Ragnarok spawned over at the B side, so he's going to be the one to push his units on the wall. But very interesting strategy here. People was making it look like he's on the wall, firing things. But it's just a full setup on home. They're not even defending A. This is this is what this is what we like this is what I'm talking about. We always see some different strategies here. Very interesting strategy. But they are defending the home point. They're not even caring for A point. If people notice that, that will be a quick inside and out. Ready to go. Gregorius, fat boy, all that. Everybody just drop back completely. They're going to get a free cap on A. They're going to have so much time on this fight here to focus, set themselves up, and get themselves prepared for the fight. I'm really interested to see how they think this is going to work out. We already know how how strong people have defended the A point here on this map so far. And so far, they're not even going to attempt to lose units on it or even to stop the defence. Buck's going to go straight cap B straight away as well. So we are going to go up to having about 15, 16 minutes on this. 15, 16 minutes we're going to have for the attack on the home point. And you know what, with no artillery, it's going to be very interesting strategy here. There was no even any siege towers taken out. All siege towers will reach. They'll have quick efforts in. There's a supply point in the back getting pinged that I'm hearing and that is <laughs> that's it here we go we are all set B we are at 17 minutes for this the attacking side have got the supply point they're just going to pay attention here Ragnarok just keeps spamming that defend the point here but as you can see the NES boys are just rotating their self around, having an OZ checking to see where all the players are coming from where the units are getting set up from but it's going to be the supply point there is no need to be anywhere else. They've got the supply point on the inside. Everybody could just come in, get their units, and start making a move. Ruffle is all coming on the back. All all of them are coming on the back to that back supply point. Exodus is the one defending here, and he's on his own here with one unit of cab. But they're making it look like it as a wee bait and switch. They've sent some units around. Drip Drop Gregorius is trying to rotate them out, but they don't do it. They're just going back and forward. Ruffle Crazy Disillusioned, all making that effort to look as if we're going there and not going there, but they're sending everybody in. All the heroes are going in as, as it is, going into the back here, trying to bait everybody out. Kiss My Bird is the first to die. You've got a couple of heroes now. Daddy, Daddy Dragon unit just gets a free triple kill. Daddy Dragon with a quad kill. Oh my god, he's already snopping off there, Daddy Dragon. Just just picking up all the heroes. They're down to three heroes alive already. Like, that was a full 15-man push. Interesting. Interesting. I have no idea what the, what the plan was there, but pretty much their whole team just got wiped without any units being taken out. Like, instantaneously wipe your whole team on a push with nothing. Like, what was it for? What was the game? What was the plan? I don't know. I, I don't know what it was. But there was no way you're going to get on the back there and wipe all them out as a hero. Like, 15-man hero push was all we seen there. And it just got wiped so quickly. No units lost, really, though, in the grand scheme of things. They could have used a treb, trying to, like, bait out some units and heroes, potentially. Never really did it. But very, very different strategy than I was expecting there. Different heroes. I don't know what they thought would be a good idea to do that there. FDS Light just prodding and poking to see what he's going on here as you can see they're back in that supply point and they're going to start they're going to have to set up a proper push here back to 15 v 15 14 trebs available and it's any ace holy crusaders guys are just 
defending the home point. They didn't defend A or B. Like I said, very interesting strategy. Completely different than what I was expecting to be done. Because we have seen the last two fights, they were defending A and B, and nobody even really got it, apart from Van Blade squad of uh, Slavs doing the work and putting in the effort to get home point. And home point you can lose pretty quickly. So it's a very risky strategy, because if you, if you work the push well, you can easily get in there and destroy it. Setting up in both gateways here from Odin's Legion. Crazy FDS lighter just checking out. Drayton's doing the same thing, just checking out. Jinjin just throwing his muskets, trying to check out what's going on. Couple of musket throws go over. I don't know if that deals any damage to Jinjin, but they're looking. There's a ping going in the back supply point. They're going to go around to that back supply. Potential. Use everybody, rotate back and forward. They're pinging it. Where will they go? That is the question. You've got Disillusion, Kiss My Verse, Vox Ruffle, FDS like crazy, all going around the back here. Extras has noticed it. He sees it once again. He's calling that out. As you can see, a full rotation of Holy Crusaders coming all into the supply point. All the heroes are going, but they're all switching back out. The Akeshics are being dragged in from Extras, which has just been getting wiped out there from the units. Lots of units and heroes pushing straight out. They're all going to fully push to the, home, the whole back supply point here. The only thing they do is kill the units. And the whole push comes in. Well, they start switching up here. The Treb's going to come in on the supply point. How good is this Treb going to be? FDS Light, Disillusion, Crazy, all down there. The Treb comes in. The Treb's going to hit. It's going to hit the ISGs. Bang on the centre of the ISGs. And that has worked a treat there for the guys from Odin's Legion. Now they start pushing in. They make their way in. Are they going to make their way in the other gateway as well? Call me Hedro, Drayton, and Zuzu all making their way in. Buck as well starting to make their way in. Well, they push that supply point here. Lots of heroes have rotated to the supply point, but at this moment in time, they are still dying on the push. The Odin's Legion guys are dying quicker than the Holy Crusaders guys are, but we're slowly starting to match it up. President Emery was shot out of the ranks here. We're down to 11, 12 versus 9. Defense of Holy Crusaders is whittling. They're down to nine heroes alive. Thirteen defenders, uh, attackers. Sorry, am I bad? The Treb comes in in the gateway. Well, the push goes on to home point here. They are down to eight heroes alive on the defense. Odin's Legion with a full push in. Here comes the Keshiks. How many heroes are they going to wipe out here? There is no heroes wiped in the center of the home point here, but there is a couple heroes surviving it. Jinjin falls. We are down to six heroes alive from Holy Crusaders. That is a massive push. They've got. Already, all these units on the point. Home point is already defended. You've got a set of modal in the gateway. There's not going to be any flank. They're going to have to come from the flank here. Wolfie Slayer stuck in the middle of it here. Sanji Grenadiers doing their work. But here comes God King Azura and Vak Apocasis. Are they going to wipe out the units on the point? But the calf gets stopped from the Halberdier Sergeants. Odin's Legion are going to grab a fantastic attack here. They totally wiped that out. That is the difference there. Just a full-on massive push on home point. They went and baited the bait and switch between the supply point. And I'm not going to lie, I, I don't even know how quick that map was. But that felt like one of the quickest maps I have watched in CBL or even in CB Rivals. This has been a quick win there for Odin's Legion. I really, really did not expect it to go so quickly. Missed the MVP. Five hero kills. For only 45 units kills. It shows you. Look how many units were killed. There was not that many units even used and killed. So it, it was just a full on push. You just you just focus up. You get in that position. You all go at the right time. And you can just full focus it. They managed to bait enough heroes away from the point where they can get in both directions. Push off the supply point. Gain the supply point And use the treb in the gateway to stop anything pushing out. What a, what a fantastic move. Well done, GG guys. That was a fantastic effort from Odin's Legion. That attack, I was not expecting to go that well. But Daddy Dragon, MVP on the defensive side. Five hero kills, only 45 unit kills. Yara in second place. But a few heroes here, not really doing anything. Not even getting a chance to probably play very well. They died a couple of times. But nobody died more than twice uh, on the defense, on the attack. As you can see, Tomsky died three times. But it was such a quick matchup. There wasn't really much time for many people to die. Odin's Legion picking up.